Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are back with another very famous question. Today's question is swap nodes in pairs. Given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. You may not modify the values in the list nodes. Only nodes itself may be changed. So we are given with an example one, two, three, four. You should return two and one, four and three. So we are swapping. Two and one and three and four. So it's a very easy question. Just few lines of code. We will first do it on pen and paper. After that, we will write the code. So we are given with the linked list. One, two, three and four. And we need to return. Like this. What we can do to achieve this thing as our output. So our head is pointing here. Suppose I say that we are taking a dummy node over here. So we are taking dummy node. At zero, and this is our p, and this is our q. So, what will be the value of p? P will gonna be d dot next, and q will gonna be d dot next dot next, or you can say p dot next, and d dot next. Is head because head is here. So this was our initial link list. First, our aim is to swap this pair, and we have the minute over here. So what we should do with these three pointers that it will give us this thing. So we need to do something with these three pointers. So let me write down here. We need to take care of d dot next, p dot next, and q dot next. This is our t. This is our p. This is our q. So, what I do with this pointer, that we get this thing. So we, I need to point it to Q because two is at Q. What I need to do with this pointer, so that I can get this thing. So it's pointing to this value, which is. Q dot next. And what I need to do with Q dot next, which is this pointer, I need to make it here, that it points at one. So Q dot net next will point to P. So we are done with. This swapping. So if I say our result will, after first iteration will be, after first this line of code will be like this, and now our p is here, q is here, and d is here, and we are done with this part. But we are remaining with this part and so on. So what we're gonna do to do 
on this part we need to have p over here q over here and t over here so that again we can apply these things so at the end what we'll gonna do we'll make d equal to p so here now our d will be at this position this will gonna be our dummy node and now again we will do this operation in this 3 and 4 so this is the only gist of the problem please try it by yourself and then come to the code and let me tell you one more thing till what time we will gonna do these things while d dot next and d dot next dot next is not none or you can say till the time p and q are not none we will gonna keep doing this four step and at the end we will get our answer so let's first make a dummy node so we are making two dummy nodes so that because at the end we need to return something list node having value 0 and d dot next will point to head because it, it's a singly linked list so we don't have any things such as previous so while d dot next and d dot next dot next is not none what we want to do we will simply p equal to d dot next and q equal to p dot next or you can say d dot next dot next and now come those three things to change the pointer d dot next p dot next and q dot next so we need to change these three pointers d dot next p dot next and q dot next to q q dot next and p respectively d dot next to q p dot next to q dot next and q dot next to p and at the end we will take care of our dummy value we will again put it equal to p and at the end we will return d1 dot next because at in the starting we took these two and we are just returning d dot next because it's a dummy node we don't want it to print so let's see the answer is correct and it's yeah it's a pretty good answer and i would say please try it by yourself and if you have any problem please do let us know in the comment section i will try my level best to help you out and please don't forget to subscribe thank you